to quickly show that there is additional support now uh, in the ThumbNav project. So ThumbNav will now out of the box come with this split thumb style. Um, and so now you can either select from Quo if you have you know, Quo installed, but you're not always going to have Quo installed. Um, so this is what the original behavior was. You see it stacks based on where I swipe. Um, so I got my integration from two separate projects. This is provided by BookTouch, and this, these are provided by the uh, MOOC distribution. Um, you see there's, you know, it goes away when I click on the screen. It scales with me. Yep, I drag the browser in here. There we go. And so these scale with me as I go down. Um, so what the additional navigation style is, because I said we're playing around with different styles to see which is the most usable. Um, it's trying to mirror the lack of movement that you have to make on a, um, on a tablet. Um, this is most famously taken from the iPad, in my opinion, but so that you have kind of a split row navigation as if you're holding it with two hands. And so the API has been extended a little bit to have this type of logic. So you're basically defining left and right. And then in the case of something like Quo that just has one zone, um, it basically mashes them all together as left and right. Uh, and so you can see this is out of the way. I know it's a little blown up because I'm <laughs> but it's out of the way um, off to the right and left sides of the screen. If you imagine having your thumbs held off to the sides of the screen here, um, I can quickly get to this type of info too. So I can say, hey, what's contact info, copyright info, things that I'm not going to need all the time, I can kind of hide from the interface. Um, also made some minor tweaks. You know, so there's the outline that loads, it shows the whole screen, so I can click off and get it away. Um, so it's, again, you get both of these interface techniques. Um, what I'm planning to do next is actually create a top branding bar type of an effect. Um, you see this on a lot of mobile sites now uh, that has the course name. Um, we don't even care about the title with one mobile, quite frankly. Um, just the course name at the top and then has a shortcut that will allow these to show up. So we'll store a cookie as to whether or not you actually want to see these buttons. Um, because they can be, you know, not kind of, you know, they can be kind of distracting to be there all the time. Um, we scale in all the way. You see, they do interfere with the content somewhat, um, and so we do have this additional navigation mode. This is built into Chamfer to do the buttons at the bottom. Uh, so we'll let the user select which method they want. So we would have a bar up here. Um, if they want to click that off, they can, as well as um, it, we'll still be able to utilize the shortcuts to these items. So you could have this button be top and when you click that you get your entire outline and you can scroll through it um, but keeping it out of the way and so we'll, we'll kind of let people remix it a bit and do some usability testing as to which is the, the optimal method.